Hi guys, so it's vlog number 27. Yay. We're almost like at 30, which is crazy because I've never really kept anything going. So yeah, this is exciting. Today I forgot my hand sanitizer. I was like so upset at myself today at school. I don't know, I just love hand sanitizers. I don't know. And also my lotion because it smells really good. Um, and today we just started reading in English class Tuesdays with Maury. Um, oh yeah, that reminds me. So, you guys remember how I was talking about Llama? Yeah, he wanted me to mention it, so. Llama. Okay, and then after school, I came home, and you guys know how I love, like, my candles. Like, this was the first one that I ever got. Like, it just doesn't want to burn, I don't know, it just doesn't want to burn. So, I guess that's the end of that. Um... And this is my second one. I've had this for like two to three days now and it's almost gone. It's like half, it's not even half anymore. It's like three fourths probably. And the, and it started getting black at the top and I started getting scared because, yeah, I just don't want it to like, I keep imagining it like exploding at the top for some reason, like breaking and stuff. And then all of a sudden, this whole place catches on fire and I just really hope it doesn't matter. I really hope I didn't jinx it. Um, but yeah, I came back home and I saw this. It's a new candle because my mom knows just how much I love. And Llama just texted me. Um, by the way guys, I don't have a phone so this is all on my iPad. Um, because my mom knows just how much I love candles and I go through them like it's nobody's business because it's not. But this one's called Warm Tobacco Flower. At first, I was looking at the title of it and I was like, what in the world did she get me? And then I was like opening it and it smells really good. I don't know. I love candles. I don't know why, but yeah. Maybe it's because of the fire and the scent. That should be it, right? Because that's what candles are for, the scent. Um, but yeah. I love seeing fire, so like if there's ever like a campfire or a bonfire, I'd always want to go. But weird thing is, I've never been to a campfire. Or a bonfire. Or anything of that nature. Yeah, someone should take me. Yeah. Um, what else happened today? Oh, it's 11-11, make a wish. Okay, I'm done. I hope you guys made Oh, it passed now. Um, oh, and today I went to the doctor's and... I had to get my flu shot, and this is probably going to be, like, my last one I, or something because I'm already 18, and, yeah, so this will be my last one that my mom does, pays for me or something. I don't know. I don't know any of that sort, so, um, I think I have to get my own health insurance or something. Yeah, that makes me feel like an oldie. I feel like an adult now, which I practically am, but I don't feel like it because... Yeah, I don't think I've even aged at all, to be honest. But yeah, oh yeah, and I got the shot right here. Um, it was actually a little small circle bandit, and it was Tweety, um, that, oh wait, Tweety or Sweetie? I forgot. But it's that little yellow girly bird from, like, Looney Tunes, I think. Um, by the way, I love that movie. And, yeah, and it hurts. Like, at first, I was like... Okay, yep, it's in, and it's done, it's done. And then later on, I started getting sore, and I'm like, I was at, literally at bed, and, bed, bath, and beyond, yeah, bed, bath, and beyond, and I walked in, and I saw so many candles, and I was like freaking out, and then I went to go hold them, and smell them, or whatever, and then later on, I, I held this candle, oh, by the way, there's this um candle, it's called like WW, I think that's their brand name, and it's all of them smell so perfect. Like, I love every single one. I was literally dying there because 
Like, I didn't know anybody's candles could all smoke it. Like, every single one of them. Like, I don't usually like every single um, candle from just one brand. Because some of them I'm just like, eh. But that one had, like, perfect scents. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure one of them was called Campfire. And it smelled good. Um, but yeah. Wait, what was I talking about? Do this to myself. Oh yeah, I was holding um candles and then I was holding this candle and um this little mini candle jar. I think it was about this size and I was like, ah. and my arm was just like, like this and I was just like, what the heck? And I just put it back down. But then of course I just kept going even though it hurt because candles. Um, and then I also got a lighter. Finally, guys, something like this because. Yeah, my dad's lighter does not suit me at all because it hurts and it burns my fingers. So that's like right there next to my other ones, you know. Um, yeah, because we all know that it burned my nail. Yeah, that was weird. Because yeah, like, the nail is skin. But it's hardened skin, so I thought I'd at least feel it burning me, but I didn't. I just saw it and I was like, oh, there's a reaction too. I vlogged about it. But yeah, that's what happened today. Oh, and I wore, this was one of the new shirts that I got yesterday that I was going to show you guys yesterday, but then I got lazy because my closet's all the way over there. And yeah, oh, um, since my sweater's right here, and I don't really have to get up. Let me show you guys the sweater I got, which I will be wearing tomorrow. You know, I thought I said love at first, but it actually says Levi's. Yeah. I wanted it to say love, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, and then they had this security um, thingy on it, which they, I guess, forgot to take it out, and my mom had to go back today in the morning so that they could take it out, and it was just really annoying to me because I wanted to wear it. But oh well. And the skirt is in my closet, which I won't get because it's far. And my hair is waving up again like it used to. When I was little, I used to have like really thick wavy hair. And I don't know what's happening. Oh. Okay, so I guess that'll be all. I have like tons of homework, which I should have done, but procrastinator. I'm the most hardworking procrastinator you've ever met. Okay, bye guys.